Hi guys and welcome back to Car Focused. Can you believe that it's been a year today since I went to look at this car and I put my deposit down on it? That's absolutely flown by. Now, it's been a year today and that brings me on to this video because this car, it hasn't come millions of miles from when I first bought it, but I have made changes to it. I've got little things where I want them to be, I've got the car looking how I want it to look and I'm happy to say that I've actually finished what I want to do with this car externally. The car is now finished. I've had my latest edition last week and that was my Ibac lowering springs. I had them in my garage for a good seven months and I was just debating whether to fit them or not and I finally thought I've got the spacers why not fit the springs the car was on the stock springs that have been on there since it was you know since it was conceived so to speak they were getting on a bit so i thought might as well just fit them to be fair i was talking the idea of keeping it stock height but the more i thought about it the more i thought yeah it does sit a bit high at the front and it could probably do a flattening out a little bit into the corners so anyway so last week i took the car to scc st albans it had an mot it had the springs fitted past its MOT by the way no advisories at all so another another year's ticket on there I had the springs fitted and I have to say I'm really happy with the way this car is looking now you can see the car in the background there but I'll take you for a little walk around it in a minute and you can just see the stance of this car now and it's pretty much perfect for me um, so yeah guys that, I, I'm finished modifying this car externally or should I say unmodifying because that's what I've been doing when I first got this car, it had obviously the black wheels, the black stripe, it had uh, the wind deflectors, the mongoose exhaust, some dodgy um, rubber mud flaps. Um, it was on budget tyres. There's a different tyre as well on each corner. Um, it had a front splitter, a TRC front splitter. And a couple of little bits here and there just needed sort of tidying up and, and sorting out. So. That's what I've been doing for the past year. But anyway, I'm going to spin this camera around. We're going to have a walk around the car, have a look at the new stance of it. By the way, the wheels are filthy. I have cleaned this. I cleaned this about a week ago, but as soon as you take this thing out, you know, and you drive it spiritedly, the amount of brake dust that gets on these wheels is crazy. I really should ceramic coat them. But yeah, we'll flip the camera around. We'll have a walk around the car. I'll show you what the car looks like and we'll jump in and we'll go for a quick spin and I'll just talk about the springs and how they affect the ride of this car. Right, guys. So this is my finished Focus RS. I say finished, finished visually. It could do with a, a nicer map and uh, some supporting hardware mods, but look at the stance of this now, look. Just sitting nicely at the front now. It used to have that proper jacked up stance at the front, but now it's sitting nice and even. So we are 25 mil at the front, 15 mil at the rear, because the rear wasn't too bad from stock. And we've got 20 mil spaces at the rear and 15 at the front. And that's the profile you get. So if I zoom in a little bit, we'll slowly zoom in. That's the profile you get with the 20 mil IBAC spaces at the rear and the 15 mil at the front. I just think 20 at the front is too much. A lot of people have 20 all round, but nah. So obviously we've got white vents now. The car had black vents. When I bought it, I've got a stubby little aerial off a Mark 8 Ford Fiesta. It's not the best fit. There could be a few more threads really to hold it on there, but it hasn't fallen off. Just modernizes the car a little bit. And once again, the stance of the car from the side, it's just perfect now. Look at it. I just, I get out of this car and I look at it and I just think, God, this thing's gorgeous. It's just absolutely spot on. I think now, now the arches are filled and the car's a bit lower, it just gives the whole, I mean, the whole demeanor of this car is sort of aggression. And that just kind of fits in. It kind of brings the car together now. Yeah. This is one of my favorite, my favorite angles. When you're following this thing from behind, it just looks absolutely mega. Yeah particularly this, just the arches. Just this car is just beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. I wanna hang on to this thing for as long as I can. The Scorpion exhaust there, sitting pretty. And these are a bit of a talking point. Uh, the MSRT mud flaps, some people like them. 
some people don't but yeah I've just basically achieved the uh, the OEM plus look that I was going for and uh, very happy so there are things that, that do need doing I have touched upon them before bits to tidy up here and there but on the whole and there you can see the SCC performance sticker they stick in there when they give you an MOT and do a bit of work on the car so yeah beautiful I'm trying to keep walking around so you can keep looking at it <laughs> oh another thing I've done is excuse these wheels because they are they're basically grey now um, I've got some uh, centre caps there some silver centre caps I think they're off a of Ford Galaxy they're genuine Ford uh, picked them up off eBay for about 25 quid and they just look better than the blue ones it just uh, brings the silver wheels in nicely so yeah guys inside it's all pretty stock I've done nothing really inside um, needs a bit of a hoover out but yeah it's as it came from the factory inside I do need a new gear knob like the whole gear knob not just this bit because the leather is sort of worn out around there so I want to change that whole thing but they're like rocking horse shit they are mileage there we are at 46 uh, 733 and I always keep this cover on just to try and protect the bolster a bit more you can see these bolsters they go after a while so yeah and there's the rear uh, I've had one person sat in there since I've had the car so yeah she looking beautiful guys so after a year of owning this car I've got no regrets to be fair I've done I've done about four and a half thousand miles in a year which I know isn't that much um, and the only problem I've had with it was the auxiliary belt snapping and that that was no fault of the car that was because they weren't changed I had the cam belt done but they didn't change the auxiliary belts but it's had a cam belt now it's had had auxiliary belts all genuine OEM Ford items from Dream Science um, and other than that it's run absolutely sweet um, the engine is just sweet as a nut it's really smooth it doesn't burn any oil it doesn't leak any oil um, it it's been boosting up nicely I've had no boost leaks or anything like that the only thing that I probably would like to do and I did mention it at the start of the video is probably a better map something that's a bit more progressive as you get to the top of the rev range um, this has a big shove of torque down below and it does kind of die off at the top and I think that's its weak point in its power delivery um, so to have a stronger map that pulls strong all the way to the top would be well perfect really but I'd need to upgrade the intercooler I'd need um, a fuel pump or injectors and the downpipe really and the sports cap you start getting into this big long list of extra modifications then so but as it is it's, it's not you know it's not slow it's quick but it's not savagely quick it'll keep up with most modern day hot hatches but my friend's got a mark 3 um collins performance 400 brake um rs and i can't keep up with him now when he was mp fbm 375 i could pull on him slightly but since he's gone 400 um no so i think this is probably running about i don't know 330 320 330 with the super chips map but maybe next year we'll get it on a dyno see i don't think there's going to be many more videos on this guys this year um it's going to get cleaned and i'm going to get it covered up and then it's going to sit in the garage until next year i've got a lot of things going on in my life at the minute and um, i'm just not really gonna have time to play around with this car um i don't know maybe like in the new year if i can get underneath it and rub it down a bit and paint it up a little bit the subframe and stuff i might try and do that but as for actual driving it's not going to get driven now until probably like april um so yeah i'm just enjoying every moment i've got with it now until it, it goes away well, I've been chatting loads guys I thought I'd just do a bit of an informal walk around video really just to show you how the car's looking I'm really happy with it now and like I say that's it I'm not going to be doing anything more visually um, in fact actually before we do before we do jump in the car and go for a quick drive I'm going to show you how close the front is to the floor so the ground clearance so I'll put my fist if I put my fist there you can see it so there's a fair bit of ground clearance there you've probably got six inches maybe um if i'd have left that splitter on that would have been game over i think that thing would have been ripped off so yeah i think with this spring set up 
um, which is obviously the IBAC setup, I wouldn't run a front splitter. So for the last time in a while, let's jump in this car. Um, we'll go for a quick spin. We'll talk about the ride, how the springs have affected the ride and how it handles. Welcome to 2020. Who doesn't have one of these in their car now? Because if you don't have one of these in your car and you get to a garage or something, you're boogered. So if you haven't got one in your car, just put one in your, uh, in your door bin down there. Anyway, stop blabbering, turn this music off. Um, the springs, the springs on this car. So you've seen it from the outside. You know how beautiful it looks. Now what's it like from the inside? Well, I'm gonna quickly get out in front of this tractor before we get held up. Because you know that every time I record a video, a tractor shows up and just wants to get in my way. Oh! oh. I tell you what, I'm not bored of this car in the slightest. I still love it a year on. It still makes me smile when I drive it. It's still my dream car. A car that I'd always wanted since I was like, God, how old was I, 22 when these came out. And now I've finally got it. I intend to hang on to it for a long time. Keep looking after it, keep replacing bits as and when they need replacing. Tidy it up even more. And then when my children or child or whatever I have grows up, we can both go out in this for a nice drive and it'll be like a proper, a proper classic. And people will look at it and be like, oh, I remember those when I was like in my 20s. Like you do now when you see a Cosworth or when you see an older car like a Capri or something. Anyway, I must stop blabbering. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking rubbish, and I? So the ride in this car, so I, at the minute, I'm on quite a bumpy road and yeah, the, the ride is firm. I'm not gonna be like, oh, the ride's super smooth. It's like driving on a cloud because it isn't, it's firm. But the ride was firm anyway. The ride in this car as standard is pretty firm, but because the front end is so high, you can kind of, um, when, you, when you're up to speed, you can kind of start getting into this sort of scenario where the momentum of the suspension travel sort of gets more and more. So kind of like, a, is it like a pogo effect kind of thing? So if you go in at high speed, for example, on a, on a bumpy bit of motorway, the, the car used to start to, whoa, 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 you know, start to get a bit carried away. Whereas now we've kind of decreased the amount of travel in the suspension, that isn't as much of an issue. Yeah, these springs were actually a warranted part from Ford. Um, so that probably explains why they are, you know, why they are quite forgiving and why they're not really harsh and stiff. So yeah, to drive around normally, day to day, if that's what you want to do in one of these cars, these springs are absolutely fine. There's been no rubbing. I've not caught anything on anything. Like I say, if you've got an additional splitter on the front, you're probably going to catch it. But with, with the standard car, you know, as it came out the factory, you're not going to have any issues at all. So before we wrap the video up, I think we're going to go and hit the, uh, the Carfection corners, is what I call them, because um, the Carfection guys, I don't know if you've seen Carfection videos with uh, Henry, and they always use this set of bends it's just a nice set of s bends just to test the car out really so we're gonna hang a right and we shall give it a try so ah oh, this engine does feel really strong it just feels solid, like it feels like you can kind of trust it when you accelerate, you're not worrying it's going to blow up. Unlike these smaller high boost uh, engines that we've got nowadays. <laughs> I love this old girl, I love it. Right, anyway, the springs, the springs, the springs. So we're going to go into third gear, left hander here. So we'll just dig the front in, get a bit of power. 
Yeah, loads up nicely. It's not too uh, not too saggy on the front end. To be fair, it feels really sorted. I like the diff in this car as well because when you do uh, boot it out of a corner, you can 100% fill that diff. And if that diff wasn't there, nah, this thing just would be even more of a handful because it already is a bit of a handful but uh, I'm gonna do that again so yeah the car feels nice it feels nice uh, nice and balanced there's no real neg well th there is no negative effects on these springs guys so if you do have a mark 2 RS and you want to make it look better and you want to make it handle a bit better and not feel any harder then it's an absolute oh no brainer Guys, this car, I just love this car so much. Yeah, it's definitely flatter. It's much flatter. Just gives you that little bit more confidence when you're turning into a, a tight corner, especially when you're changing direction quickly and you're transferring the weight from both sides or from one side to the other. There's a lot more stability. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thumbs up from me guys I mean obviously if you want a proper well sorted uh, suspension setup you need to go for coilovers but as a relatively cheap suspension modification the Ibac springs well it's a yes from me get it done if you're still riding that jacked up stance on the front end get it done guys get it done anyway that is enough blabbering from me I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been a bit random I'm in a bit of a random mood today so thought I'd come out and do a bit of a video yeah so a year on I'm still loving this car we're going to be putting it to bed soon so not many more videos on this car but I will try and do my best with more videos on the channel um, just try and keep drip feeding them out over the winter if I do anything on, on this car I will try and film it I've also got Mike's Cosworth which we need to follow um, hopefully be a couple more development developments on that over the coming months so maybe some more car reviews we'll see it depends if manufacturers are willing to give me a car to review um, and we're going to link up with a, a, a talented videographer who's local to me, get some decent edits done. So if I can get my hands on a car to review, I'll team up with him and hopefully we can produce a pretty professional kind of video. Um, but yeah, so that's it guys. Just want to obviously thank all of you as always for watching, um, for subscribing, for sticking with this channel. I know there are periods where I'm a little bit quiet sometimes, but you know, we all have things we deal with in our personal lives. And we're all busy with work and stuff so it's not a full-time job for me so as and when i can do a video i will but yeah guys um until the next one as always take care <laughs> oh man yeah take care and i shall see you soon